everyone. Um, I'm excited to do another video. Um, I'm feeling good. If you had a chance to see my video that I just did on kind of my update on my medical treatment and everything, um, you probably already know that I can still speak pretty well and I'm happy and life is good. So it's all good. But I had this um, idea of something that I really wanted to talk about because um, somebody came to me fairly recently and said that they really appreciated hearing something um, that I had in one of my lectures. I don't remember specifically what I had said, but what it had made them realize is that they needed to let let go of, of an anger that they'd had against somebody else for a while. And uh, I was really happy to hear that. And it made me think, you know, how do I explain to people uh, how I really don't get angry? Um, I really don't get angry for people from, for whatever they're doing to me. They could even look at me and say, Sarah, you're a blank. And Sarah, you, you're so terrible at this or whatever. I mean, they could really make it personal. And <clears throat> it wouldn't hurt me. And the reason for that is this. One of the things I learned at in my um, spirituality, what came from the Buddhist group, um, I, as you guys know, I'm into a lot of different religions and different approaches to spirituality, um, but there's quite a lot from Buddhism that I really do like, and this one was amazing. And, uh, you know, in Buddhism, one of the things they talk about is how you are the way you are based on what you've been through. So um, people can have very, very different things that, that happen um, because they went through the same event. So let's say, for example, that somebody, let's say some woman um, was really hurt, um, let's say beaten by her husband. I'm just making this up. Um, <clears throat> and let's say one woman just stayed with him and cried and, you know, did this for decades and was still doing it. And another woman said, I'm not, I'm not staying. I'm out. And she runs out and somehow gets herself safe and gets her and maybe her, her kids, if they have them, out of the situation. Now, it doesn't mean that one's good and strong and the other one's just you know, oh gosh, she can't even do anything for herself. That's not true at all. Um, what's happened is that they've come from different backgrounds and they might have both come from backgrounds that sound the same. So for example, maybe they both come from backgrounds where their families have tons of men who beat the women or something, you know, maybe they saw their mother get hit and their aunt get hit and their sisters get hit or whatever. I'm just Again, I'm just making this up. I don't mean to be, be bad with uh, the guys or anything. I'm sorry. I hope nobody feels like I'm doing that. I'm just trying to think of an example. Um, it, it could be that they've all been through that very, very similarly. But there's a good chance that somebody somewhere came across the belief that you can say, screw it, I'm out. I'm out of here. And it could be that no one else in their family where it's been going on for ages. Um, it could be that they don't believe that everybody else believes they can't get out of it. But there's one woman who believes she can get out of it and she does. And there's a good chance that maybe she saw a movie that no one else saw. Or maybe she had a conversation with somebody who got her thinking differently from everybody else in her family who's gone through the same thing. I mean, we don't know, but everybody's lives are different. And so what we end up being like and what we, how we end up dealing with things often can change based on what we've been through that other people haven't, or it could be something specific that even though maybe we've been through the same stuff for years and Again, maybe we let somebody hurt us or whatever for years. 
And then all of a sudden, one day, we hear one quote from somebody who makes us say, I'm out. I'm not going to do this anymore. So I love that. Um, and what happens is that when I come across somebody who's either treating me badly or like I saw this guy in the plane, Mark and I were flying back from Hawaii. So we had a long, long trip and this couple gets on and they sit right next to me and he was very drunk and he stunk like he had not showered in days. Um, he was, I mean, he looked like he was going to throw up any minute. Um, he wasn't like yelling and screaming or anything like that, but he just really stunk. And, and I thought, oh my gosh, this guy could easily throw up on me on this flight or something. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. And it, it could be that I think, oh God, I hope I don't get thrown up on. But what doesn't come to me is this guy's a jerk. Why is he coming? Why is he coming all drunk? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he's coming drunk. And even if I knew him as a person and I knew that he lived in a good family growing up and, you know, had fun and went to college. And when he was with his college buddies, they started drinking and then maybe he started drinking a lot over the years. And it just became more and more of an issue until he was just, a, he was just a drunkard. Um, it could be that he's had a really nice life himself. It's not like somebody hurt him so badly that he went and got drunk every day. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea why someone was drinking and, and that drunk and that stinky and everything else. It doesn't matter. And so I think one of the common things is that those of us that are early in this um, learning period is we start to think, oh... This guy probably grew up in a really bad family, and so he just drank to try to feel better. And so we start telling ourselves stories that make us feel better for somebody. And maybe the answer is that no, he just drank too much in college, and it became an issue. He continued drinking, and there was no negative reason why he should have drank. He just did, and it caused him to become drunk, a drunkard. Um, that's fine, too. It doesn't matter why. It just helps us understand why something happened. Um, but after a while of learning this situation and realizing that even if someone's yelling at you, let's say someone were yelling at me saying, you know, Sarah, you're a bitch and I can't stand you and you do this and you do that. And, you know, it doesn't mean that I have to sit there and say, oh, no, this poor person. Oh, they're so messed up. Oh, what a shame. I don't have to do that either. I just say, this is happening. It's okay. It's okay. I have no idea why it's happening. I have no idea. I mean, I can understand why this person thinks it's happening. They're telling me. But I don't need to guess why it's happening. None of that matters. I just need to be as loving as I can be. And so I guess I tell you that because when I was taught that through Buddhism... And I started realizing, like, I don't need to know why anything's happening, really. I just need to recognize that everything happens from the past. Um, <clears throat> it may not happen the way you think it's going to happen, you know. So, again, if somebody's married to somebody who beats them and their whole family stayed in those relationships for years and years, it doesn't mean that you have to believe that that person's going to stay, too. Um, <clears throat> but you can see that they've been affected uh, by seeing this go on, whether they stay and they think, well, I just, this is just how, this is just how men are or <clears throat> whatever they believe. It doesn't, you don't have to understand why that happened. You just understand that it's all a matter of history that's affecting them. And this is how they're being affected and how they're acting out. And it doesn't make them a good person. It doesn't make them a bad person. It's just how things are happening. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I can tell you that I really don't ever get angry um, anymore. I mean, I, I can get frustrated, but I, I don't get angry because to make it angry, you take it personally. And I don't take anything personally anymore. So I hope that's helpful because it doesn't mean that, oh, Sarah's always happy and always loving to every single person. <laughs> no, I can get frustrated. I was driving behind a guy yesterday up a 30 mile an hour road, which I thought was 
too low to be going 30 miles an hour. And the guy was doing 20. And I was in my car going, oh, gosh. <laughs> but I didn't think, well, this guy's terrible. What's wrong with this guy? You know, that's where you don't need to go. It's, it's we don't know. And quite frankly, I think I could see him pretty well in his mirror. And I think he was really quite old, which explains it, you know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And that might not be the case anyway. I could be totally wrong in guessing. So, you know, it just, it helps you a lot in life with everything, whether it's somebody personal who's been very close in your life, maybe a family member who's been upsetting you for years, or it could be your colleague or your boss or it could be a stranger who you run into at the store or something like that um and it's really a great feeling when you can let life um kind of help you pass by anger over the situation and when that happens i think it really helps the situations to calm down very easily um anyway i hope that's helpful